Hello and welcome to CS330. This is Lecture 20 and Lesson 2. So continuing on from our um, from the last section, we're interested in building this RESTful API for quotations. So we, as discussed in Lecture 19, need to set up our endpoints, which is and and you know this is what we're going to build. This is how we're going to engage with this. And so we're going to create some endpoints. And which have a specific URL, and then we're going to associate those endpoints with the HTTP verbs, and we have some action, you know, that tells us and explains what's going to happen. So, so this essentially is the root, okay? Um, this is the verb, you know, the method, if you like, the HTTP method, and this basically tells us the the action or what happens. So these are ultimately the controllers, okay? So we're going to have one for called slash quotations with the get, and that returns all quotations we can have quotations with and we can specify a single quotation id and um, usually with um, we we do this sometimes by putting a quote around it and um, if we were using an open api specification we would rest we would put chain brackets around this and um, this quotation id and not have the colon but i'm specifically using the colon because that's how we we do it with express.js and um, that returns a single one and um, if you use the quotations root with post that allows us to add a quotation and this doesn't tell us about how we specify that but we're going to use json to supply it and um, if we have quotations and specify a quotation id using the put verb that updates the quotation the author and the quotation and in fact we could be very specific and say we just want to update the quote you know in case we made a mistake there and then we specify the id again and we have a new route just for the quote and use the put method here and that updates the quotation and then we can delete a quotation by specifying the quotation ID. Okay. Now we're going to need something called a schema. Okay. So we, we did see the quotation earlier from Emily Dickinson and one from Dark Vader. And we know we could represent those in JSON, but this is the general model schema. So the quotations will take a string and the order will take a string. We're also going to accept, um, um, we need to accept, as I said, some JSON been supplied from, um, from the, um, as part of the request okay and um, in situations where we want to post the quotation here um, and where we want to use put okay and what we'll do is we'll accept uh, um application we mime types for http um, uh, x w form url encoded and application json in other words we can accept forms that specify post um, data as part of the request body and also that can be specified in url encoded or we can ex we can accept the json so it's nice as well Okay, so we need to get started. In order to get that, we have to set up the app dependencies. And the first thing we need to be able to do with this then is we need to install um, Express.js environment. And so we need to create a directory. So I've created a directory called quotations app, and then I use npm init to initialize the app by creating um, a, a directory. And, and I mean, in, in the directory, and it's fairly straightforward. I'm in here already. Um, and you can see that I've, I've already done my npm init. It's created um, a package.json file for me. Um, and that will specify all the information that I need about the packages that will be there. Okay, so, um, so straightforward, I created a directory. I went into that directory and did npm init, and it made this for me. Okay, it made this file for me. Okay, and I gave all the information, you know, I mean, I, I answered some questions. I just said, basically, this is my quotations app, what the description is, the main file that will be called is called server.js. And then these are the keywords. It's going to use Express.js, it's RESTful, it's API, MongoDB quotations. These aren't modules, it's just descriptors for myself. I'm the author and has an MIT license. And then I actually install the actual modules I needed. And they would be npm install Express, body powers, which we've seen before, and Mongo, Mongoose rather than the MongoDB. So when that's done, you can actually see a list of all of the commands okay and um, so these are all the directories that would have been created and all the dependencies so that sets everything up for you okay and then um, it's not too not too um i wouldn't worry too much about what's in here at the moment you know as long as you're sure that you've got your express in here which we have it's here okay and we need to see the body parsers in here and it's here yep and we'll see that we have mongoose is here all the mongoose stuff is here and mongoose uses mongodb of course so so all the dependencies that each of these modules would use will be installed as well okay so what's important as i mentioned already is express body parts and, and mongoose are there they all have directories and our dependencies have been added 
here. So, you know, we can just go and have a look at, at um, we can have a look at down here. We can have a look at them. Um, And we'll see all the information is here. Okay, so it's it's uh, it's done for us. It's not too bad. So that's a useful useful thing, you know. So so everything literally everything is set up now. We're all ready to go. We'll start building and writing all of that. So we leave it there and we move on to the next one.